it is real and valid. And it, 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 Secretary of State Bill Gardner is standing up to Chris Kobach, the vice chair of the Election Integrity Commission. Kobach questioned the results of New Hampshire's 2016 election because about 6,500 people voted with an out-of-state ID, which is legal as long as the voter intends to be domiciled here. Now, in the Granite State, he acknowledges some confusion about its voting laws, but he says there are still valid questions. And, and, and until you make the next cut to determine how many are non-domiciled and then the final cut to actually determine how they voted, we will never know the answer uh, regarding the legitimacy of that particular election. Tuesday's commission meeting examined a wide range of topics, including whether the criminal background check system used for buying guns could be applied to voter checklists. The aim, improving confidence in elections. And as long as there's a significant percentage of the population that doubts the integrity of that process, we will not have full participation. But the commission, initiated by President Trump, also drew a protest. You have one party trying to make it harder to vote for people who they think are less likely to vote for them. Former Missouri Secretary of State Jason Kander and other critics say these meetings are just cover for an eventual attempt to restrict voting among targeted groups like minorities and college students. This is where I live. This is where I should be able to vote. The state's top elected Democrats have called on Secretary Gardner to resign from this commission. Today, he reiterated he will not, saying New Hampshire has a long and strong tradition of public participation and he will continue to participate. Reporting live on the campus of St. Anselm College, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.